Hello, hello, my beautiful Virgos. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of July the 15th to the 21st. Let's just jump in and see what we have here because you're all eyeballing this one card, I can tell. Money. Who isn't interested in money, right? So, my beautiful Virgos, you could be dealing with money issues. You might be moving money around. You might be dealing with banks and lending and loaning and investment uh, companies. Um, you could be discussing money with family members um, in, the in, the, in the family circle. You could be talking about money with your at your place of work and employment or your business. But money is going to be probably one of the biggest things that you're going to be discussing and dealing with this week okay coming in with your all over energy cards you got the hermit so this is going to give you time to step aside and think about money or think about what you want to do uh, at this time in your life the hermit is that card of retrospection moving back introspection wanting to find spiritual fulfillment he excuse me that's my cat beside me and he's poking me with his paw and if you hear a noise if I ignore him, he'll start banging the lever on my chair, my computer chair. So I apologize. He's very vocal right now. Now, the Hermit. Getting back to business here. The Hermit is your all-over energy card here. And you might be taking a time out. You may be seeking uh, and wanting to take time to think about a situation in your life and where you really want to go. It's like, it's like you know, self a re evaluation um, it's about self-discovery you could be seeking out the advice and wisdom of other people that you're that you trust that you can lean into for their guidance and their help um, I think some of you could be learning something as well from these people where you know maybe you're taking some sort of spiritualist course or you're getting involved in some holistic healing or something like that where you might be learning something that you're going to go out and impart to other people you have that ability to light the path for other people as well so you're 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 like this sponge sucking in all this beautiful information that's going to help you move forward, give you more clarity about what it is you want to do with your life. Um, you know, you're very taken with uh, this week with people who you do respect and look up to as mentors that will come in and guide you through a process here this week. Beautiful. Now, your first card is a challenging card. It's the Five of Fire. And this says, you know, you could be dealing with some little minor annoyances uh, this week. Uh, you know, there may be some difference of opinions. Not everybody's going to agree on a topic or a subject here. Maybe it has to do with money. But I do think that you're going to stand up for yourself. This is a card also feeling as though you're having to compete and push yourself to get ahead. Okay, so think about that, but don't get stressed out about it because you have the option here to make a choice. You can walk away from this this uh, demanding energy or and, and pick your battles wisely, or you can jump in the game, you know, ready, set, go, launch. Okay, so, the, you know, this is up to you, but try to avoid the conflicts at all costs because you don't want to take on other people's burdens or other people's drama this week, especially if it has to do it at place in your workplace. Coming in next, you got a beautiful card. You've got the star and this is who you are. This is about you dreaming big and believing in yourself that you can manifest and see things coming into fruition. The star is you standing on the stage, being able to market yourself and let the powers that be know who you are. I think if you dream Dream big and you go big, you're going to find that you're going to be able to move towards your goals here. This is about you finding fulfillment and, and seeing the success for your hard work and effort. You know, the, star, the sky's the limit. They say, you know, dream on a star, wish on a star, because it's likely that whatever you're wanting to manifest this week, that goal, that dream, that passion, it's going to come to fruition. The Ten of Air says those hard times are over. Okay, this is a card of feeling like you're you were down and out. You were on rock bottom. You hit rock bottom. You couldn't get up. You might have felt betrayed. You might have felt stabbed in the back. You might have felt used and abused by some situation in your life or somebody. But this is the end of it. This is a new beginning. You're recovering from this situation, and now you've got the freedom to go after what you want to do again. So you know you're out of this bad situation, whatever it was. If it was a, a an unfulfilling job, if it was a, a you know an um, unhappy relationship whatever the case is unfulfilling friendships whatever the case is it's over you're now up able to, to go after what you want you've had this sort of epiphany and enlightenment here with the hermit and now you can set your dreams into motion again okay you know what you, st you you stood your ground here with the five of fire and now you're moving forward okay you don't have those challenges now i love that ten of air it's over coming in next well, it doesn't get much better. First you had the star, now you got the wheel of fortune. Yes. 
Oh, my Vir Virgos, this is a great card. This is a card that says you're moving forward in a new direction, okay? This is, you know, going, you know, being propelled. You're mo it's always forward movement is good movement, okay? We don't go backwards. This is luck and progress and, and change coming into you now, all for the greater good for you. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune can be anything, you know? It, it, whatever comes your way that brings you that fulfillment, that happiness. Is it a raise? Is it a new job description? Is it a new business? Is it a relationship? Is it money? money's here my friends so you could be receiving something here in the form of money this week beautiful and it could come in the form of it anyway you know i mean maybe it's a raise a job promotion maybe it's a, a settlement maybe it's a bonus okay some sort of windfall coming in next final card king of fire king of wands going big or going home being focused staying standing your ground realizing that patience is your virtue and if you what you put out there and you wait for it it's going to come in okay so Excuse me. This is about you being innovative. Focus is his... Sorry about that cough, guys, but it just happened. It's like a sneeze. Focus is his biggest trait. Okay? So I think some of you are going to be focused on what it is you want to do. I mean, you've got good luck coming in here. Maybe it has to do with money. Uh, you're dreaming big. You're going after your goals. You've thought about it long and hard. The hard times are over now, and you just have to wait for this harvest to come in. And you're going to see it. So this is about taking leadership role. This is about going after what you want and getting the respect at the end of the day for what you actually have done. So beautiful reading. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. I mean, the money coming in uh is beautiful for some of you but you could just be working with money moving money around i don't see any unhappy cards here that say to me that you know money's going to be tight money's going to be a problem not at all i think this is a this is a week of you're going to see improvements in your in general i think in the material part of your life in general so let's see what we've got here in addition so i have shuffled these cards let's see what you have here you've got moving forward <clears throat> You've got stay, star power. Well, right under the star. Do you see that? I can't get more uh, explanatory than that. All right. Coming in underneath the ten of air. Clean up loose ends. Coming in under the wheel of fortune. Negotiations. And underneath the king of wands, you've got patience didn't i say patience with him yes i did so thank you spirit for these cards okay so you're moving forward obviously in a new direction here uh you're up uh, off your knees and on your feet again and you're ready to launch into something new um you've got star power here <clears throat> you have this ability to get noticed and people are going to be you're going to be a head turner for some reason or other this week people are going to say wow look what's happened to you amazing you're cleaning up loose ends here where you're on your feet now and um i think you're moving forward in a new direction here i know you are um and you're you're wanting to see closure once and for all and i think you're going to find that in a situation negotiations now with the wheel of fortune uh the wheel of fortune could also be that card of <clears throat> moving forward and you may be traveling you may be having to do a trip for business pleasure you could be planning a road trip of some sort uh that might require <clears throat> getting everybody on board here patience Patience with this waiting for your harvest to come in, the material part of your life to come in with this king of wands, right? So I had said that. So just, you know, sit tight. Don't get all bent out of shape because things aren't happening ASAP for you. But I do think that you're going to find a shift of energy here. I think the worst is over. You're moving forward. Things are starting to really, uh, really move in a good direction. And for some of you, I think it's going to have to do with money. Well... <clears throat> My beautiful, beautiful Virgos, this is your little general reading for this week as well. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful week. And always know I send you lots of love and many blessings. See you soon.